Good morning, everyone. Happy Wednesday, December 6th, 2023. Got some green coming in today. So after a few days of a uh, little bit of a little bit of red, didn't take long to have some green show back up. S&P futures up a half a percent. NASDAQ futures up three quarters of a percent. Dow up a quarter of a percent. So we'll have to see if we keep some strength here today or... See if we'll get some more red coming in after the bell rings. But right now, look, all signs point to some green. Bitcoin up uh, to over 44,000 now. So cryptos have been strong recently. I'd like to see Riot Blockchain get back up to like tradable number. Let's see. When did I last trade Riot? I used to trade Riot. Yeah, back in uh, 2022 or 20, end of 2021, it was up to. At $45 made it easy to trade. Morning, rookie trader. Bell's going to ring here in a minute. Actually, not a minute. A few seconds. And there we go. Morning, Benji. Russell pushing up. Ooh, a lot of green, a lot of green. Costco is flat, Baba flat, Walmart flat, everything else pretty much in the green. Morning, Bumblebee. Things coming down. Some some stocks are coming down a little bit. Uh, 
Oh, I was just wasn't talking just for a little bit here. Wait and see how things shake out. AMD pushing up. So yeah, a little two-way action going on here. NASDAQ up 80, 90. NASDAQ up 92, S&P up 22. Dow up about 120. So we're getting some... Some red bars here, a couple green bars. Be getting a new bar here in a second. We'll be looking for some volume runners. So a lot of red bars here actually to start off with, so... Doesn't look like we'll get upside volume runners on a, during a strong market here out, out of the gates anyway. <laughs> S&P futures coming down, Dow futures, all futures coming down there in that first five minutes. Looking for some big volume coming in here, same direction as the first bar.
not not, not looking very promising here. Uh, today we are trading the um, two days to expiration option chain, so two DTE. Vic's trying to come up. DKNG, potential downside volume runner. Pretty cheap, pretty cheap, uh, pretty wide, too, bit ask. For a thirty-six dollar stock, so uh, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna participate in DKNG Square potential upside volume runner. Got a minute to get there. I don't know that it's going to. Where's going to be close? Yeah, I'd say it got there. Yeah, I played those as yeah, definitely upside volume runner there. We'll see if it pulls back to this pivot. Try to get in at the pivot. See square, I would trade the 67 calls. Trying to get filled at a buck 30. Filled at a buck 28. Sixty-seven calls. You definitely could get a better fill than I got. I was thinking it was maybe gonna just turn around there at that pivot. Watch for some mighty 90s now. Bummer. My fill, that wasn't a very good fill. I should have put that lower. Hopefully you all got the better fill. Because I mean, I could have got filled probably down at about a buck fifteen, which means I could have got out of half at um, buck twenty five, less than I even got my original fill for. If I'd have done a better job at the fill on that one, yeah, I've been out of ten percent already. Instead. I'll put my uh ten percent get out of half at a buck forty. Shucks. I was just I was aggressive on that one, that's for sure.
Hopefully you all have gotten out of half of square already. Filled at a buck forty. Close a half of square. So still got filled, but man, I could have gotten a lot better. Could have gotten a lot better profits. See if we've got a mighty 90 anywhere. Not looking like it. It would get out of another square at $1.52. Netflix, potential Mighty 90 short here coming. Take a look at that and toss. Well, that's weird. Toss has this as a red bar. Orion has it as a green bar. So I'm just going to ignore Netflix for the moment. Square up 4%. Didn't notice that. Apple coming down through lows. Build it a buck fifty two. Close another square. Thank you. Thank you, Square. Man, if I'd have got build down low, it'd have been a monster. Still might be. You'd have another square at a buck sixty five. Build it a buck sixty five. So you kind of you heard me talk the last couple of days about uh volume runners that don't pull back and then push, and so I've gotten out of them. So this is what you really want from a volume runner. You want the pullback. And then after the pullback, you want it to push. And so when it doesn't, when when you see me bail on volume runners sometimes, it's because they're not, you know, they're not uh, pushing or, or 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 I guess if it's a if it's a short volume runner, falling when they should be. So hopefully that makes sense, a little better sense now when you see this this real nice one here. Close another square here. Build it a buck eighty. Get out of another square at a buck ninety five. Build it a buck ninety five. What is the price that if Square would have reached on the lower side? So it's not based on a price; it's based on where the price is at. 
So a volume runner, you always bail when it goes below, for, in this case, below where the big bar started. Okay, so you see where this, okay, you got a big volume bar, so you go up to the price bar. Where did it start? Right there. So if it comes down and goes below that, that's your exit. So Boeing, you know, it's kind of setting up like a continuation runner, even though it's a little early for a continuation runner. It's got this push up and now it's just pausing. Meta, potential mighty 90 short here, but it's already pulling back. So if it could push up to high, right at where... Uh, Highs are, I can look at sh getting short meta. JPM with a little mighty 90 long. Trade JPM a ton, but I do have traded it. Yeah, DKNG, with, except it's, I mean, it had a downside, now it has an upside, so I'm just kind of staying away from that. Oh, yeah, Meta. So Meta, get into Meta here now that it's pushed up. It's pushed right up here to highs. So I'm going to jump in some Meta. On the 325, now let's go. 322.5, 322.5 puts, filled at 370. So I jumped in kind of quick there because it, it's come up right to where it got pushed down here. And so if it pushes up one more time, then I might add to it. You probably, I'm sure, can get a better fill than I got. Square. And push back up. And meta. I would close half at Yeah, I, was, I think I was about a nickel away from getting filled there. There we go. Filled at 410 to close half of meta. So we'll wait for two consecutive red bars here. We'd call out Bumblebee on that Meta Mighty 90. Probably would have missed it. That's why we got to have, it always helps to have you get you all scanning as well. <laughs>
the thing about that mighty 90 that you guys can learn from is like see the price push up and then trying to get in right there at the top where it got rejected once so that's really where, where you want to get in I'll get out of another meta at 450. Square coming down a little bit here. Zoom had a little mighty 90 there. What's Zoom's? Used to trade Zoom a lot, but the bid ask got so wide. Not too bad. Let's see if it comes up to this pivot. So I got one red bar and a meta. Then we get a second. Might get short zoom if it pushes up to this pivot. Look at Boeing. Looks like it wants to go higher. Like I mentioned, continuation to the upside. Oh, yeah. Airbnb did have a mighty 90. See if it pushes up to that pivot as well. Boeing. I was real close to going long Boeing. Sometimes you just got to trust your gut. Microsoft staying weak. Zoom not really moving. Let's see what Airbnb looks like. Let's see what their options look like here. Not not too bad. All right, Airbnb. We'll do the one thirty seven puts. Build it a buck eighty. You could definitely get a better fill than me. And uh, Meta coming down. I got filled at 450 to close a quarter of my meta. Must have happened about the same time as my Airbnb.
So I'll be closing meta out, giving me two consecutive red bars here. How much time we got left? All right, closing meta. Build at 460. So nice trade there. It's about a minute left. I went ahead and got out just in case it pops back up. Wow, Boeing. <laughs> Frank has squeaked a couple more nickels out of Meta, but... So square, I'm still in it. Um, I mean, I've gotten out of a lot of it though. I got six contracts left. So if it goes down much further past right here, this little pullback here, I'm just gonna bail on it and just take my profits. I'll get it out of half my Airbnb at a buck ninety five. Just put that in just so I'm in case it in case it comes down, I'm not looking. Oh wow, meta really came down. I could have could have maybe left a contract on in Meta. Yeah, so Square drops much more. I'm just going to cut it, and I'm going to go ahead and just book my profits. Um, starting to see some stocks kind of coming down here. So we'll see if Square holds or not. Yeah, Boeing has a nice mighty 90 there. And you were on it today, Bumblebee. Boeing, I would trade the 240 puts. Build at 335. That was the two four zero puts. Squares holding on, man. Square is holding on. Close half my Boeing at 370. Look at Square, man. It's holding on when there's a lot of others pulling back. Yeah, Meta, I could have left a contract on and just ran it down. Mighty 90 long and goog. Although this bar could get as big as a first. It's we're only a couple minutes in, so an apple drop. Boeing trying to resist. So is Airbnb. Hmm. 
this thing with a nice push up. Definitely get a little two way action here. You know, a lot of these tech stocks are really coming down. But not much red from Airbnb or Boeing yet. Airbnb pushing through the pivot. Airbnb has been strong lately. I'm kind of watching it. Thing about it is, it's got such a tight range. And Baba, push down, big push up. Yeah, I saw that Microsoft. But I'd like to see more volume pop than that. Get the volume pop in Meta and the one in Boeing is clearly more separation. Man, Airbnb really pushing up. Not much red Airbnb right now. I'm going to add to my Airbnb here. Build it a buck fifty two. Add Take a look at a daily chart of Airbnb. Yeah, November, it was on a pretty good tear to the upside. Roblox coming down through lows of day. Where, again, if it pushes below this consolidation, I'm going to cut it. So this is kind of is setting up as a continuation to the upside. If people have questions about that sometimes in the Discord. Big push up. It's just pausing. As long as it stays right there and doesn't come any lower, you know, this might be a good place to get in for an upside continuation. Because then if it pushes below it, you would just bail on it for a small loss. So I'm just holding it until uh, I see it either, you know, if it pushes up, I'll keep scaling out. If it goes below there, then I'll cut it.
something has gotten into Airbnb, that's for sure. Goog came down, kind of has a kind of had a good mighty 90 there once it made one more push down. I didn't see that. So Airbnb is ripping up and and is that bar gonna get as big as the first? Oh, Vic's really coming down. No, it's not going to get as big as the first. So I need a couple red bars here in Airbnb. Boeing, where are we at in Boeing? And about right where I entered. So no add to Boeing yet. Where are you going to come back for us? We're just kind of sitting about right where I, I got out of my last contract, so... I'll get out another square at two ten. So, let me check. Let me check toss for Boeing here because 
according to Orion, it's given a second red bar, but that one really doesn't seem. Like it's red, seems like it's kind of like a wash. Yeah, Boeing or Toss had it as a red bar too. So I may be getting out of Boeing here if it if this comes down into a red bar. It's kind of setting up as an upside continuation runner again. Push up, consolidate, push up, consolidate. Get out another square here. Build it 208. Get rid of another square. So Boeing, not really liking what I'm seeing in terms of price action at the moment. Need to get a little couple pushes down here out of Boeing. Um, square, you know, I'm, if it can't keep going, I might see how many contracts I got left. Five? Yeah, I don't want to sit through any pullback in square. I'll take my profits. Dow up 115, NASDAQ up 63, S&P up 18. Yeah, that good mighty 90, you see that? Could have gotten in right down here, would have been real nice. Price action in Airbnb is worrying me a little bit as well.
Yeah, it's just not it's not going very it's not going anywhere, is it? I don't trade Airbnb very often. I I, I didn't go in as big as usual. I just it's it's been a long time since I've traded Airbnb, honestly. Because it's always had such wide bid asks. But it appears it might be getting its second red bar if you count that one as a red bar. I don't, I don't know. It's kind of the same boat Boeing was in. So I'm going to see if it can give me one more red bar and you kind of count this one as a push. When you get those that are, it's like, okay, is that a is that is that one a red bar? Or no, let me check toss. Yeah, Toss had it as this one has a red bar as well. So essentially, it's this would be considered its third red bar. So if it, it's also kind of setting up, like I said, a continuation runner. It's got even if this bar is red, it'd be like three little red bars and then continue up. So I'm going to watch Airbnb closely here. Because I might bail on it. Technically, it has given two reds, even though that one really is almost green. A lot of stocks coming down here, though. Roblox through lows. Tesla coming down, Netflix down to lows. So I feel like we're kind of lucky here with Square. I mean, at some point, I believe Square is going to pull back. <clears throat> I have five contracts left. Might just close it out. Boeing, I mean, it's pretty much where I entered. That's coming down a little bit now. You can see the similar pattern, push up, not go anywhere. Push up, not go anywhere. So I, I need it to fall below this consolidation here. I'm we'll gonna go ahead and take my take my profits in square. Build at 210 to close square. So just booking profits. Only had five contracts left, so it might still rip up, but I'm not going to gamble with it.
Man, I was real close to getting out of half my Boeing there. Surprised I didn't. So Airbnb is coming down. It's down to about where I added. So built at 370. Let's get out of half of Boeing. Okay, so Airbnb is getting a big red volume bar. So I'm going to hold on to this. I'm just going to hold on to my Airbnb here. I've gotten, obviously now, a very clear two consecutive red bars. So close it if you want. I'm going to just kind of play it minute by minute here and see what it does. And I would, I'm would i going to put an order in to close half. At a buck seventy. Things seem to kind of be getting weak. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna get out of half right now. Nope. Build it a buck seventy to close half of Airbnb. So I'm kind of ad libbing here because this bar is almost as big as the first. Again, feel free to get out if you want to get out. See, I get out of another Airbnb at a buck eighty, which was my original fill. Build it a buck eighty. Wow, this has been nice, gentlemen and ladies. Boeing, though, man, it's it's not coming down. We get out of another Airbnb at a buck ninety. Build it a buck ninety. And Boeing, though, not two consecutive red bars. I'll probably be getting out of my Airbnb on this one for sure. I mean, it's definitely given two nice big pushes down. See, that's a good out in square. Boeing, though, man, it's not cooperating. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and cut my Boeing, just because it's setting up too much as a continuation runner. Build at three forty. Close Boeing. It's a small winner there. But a winner nonetheless. Close another Airbnb at two bucks.
We got about 40 seconds left here. So here's the question, folks. Do I leave a little bit on in Airbnb just to see if it keeps coming down? I think I'm going to leave some on here. Build it two bucks to close another Airbnb. Okay, so I'm just going to play this out minute by minute here. Uh, probably time to close it. Build at 204 to close Airbnb. Wow, that was a nice one. So a lot of you guys got to see me play a mighty uh, a mighty 90 a little longer than normal. So it started getting this bar pretty big, and I checked over here at Toss, and it wasn't quite as big as the first, but it was. It was a couple ticks away from being as big as the first. And so, um, and then I started noticing some other things getting weak. And so I just kind of let it run down and uh, it worked for me. So, so I'm out of everything. 930 Central, four winners. So back in the green. So, Hope everybody else uh, is in the green as well. If you were in on any of those, look at Boeing. Good out in Boeing. Square. Yeah, it came back. So I think I'm just going to take my nice green day here and we will get back at it tomorrow. So I will be live tomorrow again. So we'll see everybody then. Peace.